Hello everyone. Today we are going to discuss about how to create Azure Free Trail account. So let's get started. Open your browser in your system and uh, search for Azure Free Trail account. It will give you a number of uh, results and then uh, you can just uh, uh, navigate to azure.microsoft site microsoft.com. So there you can create your free trial account. So here in this page, you will get your complete information about uh, Azure free trial account and uh, what can you do with your free account. So in your free account, like in case if you are starting newly to cloud, you can start creating resources, understand uh, what type of resource it is and how to create it and what all the configuration is required for spinning up those resources. Or in case if you are already working with Azure and you won't need to get familiarized with few new services which are in public preview and need to uh, implement something which you are currently working uh, in your test environment. So you can go ahead and create your free trial account. So here, uh, so generally Microsoft provides you uh, like uh, around 14,500 uh, INR uh, credit uh, to explore Azure for 30 days. And there are few uh, Azure services which are free for 12 months and few services which are always free. So in this page, you will get to know like uh, what are all the list of free services for 12 months. So recently, Microsoft has added few more services which includes load balancer, VPN gateway, container registry and you can uh, get those details over here and also like there are certain limitations uh, in your free trial account uh, for the services which are for free for 12 months so uh, the compute limitation like 750 hours for this particular vm size and manage disk uh, sql database so these are the limitations uh, when you are going ahead and creating your free trial account and one more big advantage of uh, using microsoft free trial account is like uh, uh, whenever you are credit it's the Great amount which Microsoft provided gets over, or your duration like 30 days validation gets over, then Microsoft will automatically disable your free trial account. So, no need to worry that you have left your virtual machine uh, in a running state, or uh, if you forgot to delete any particular service. So, Microsoft will not cost you a single penny until unless you upgrade your free trial to a pay as you go. So, let's create the account. So for creating an account, there are a few pre-request sites like you should have your credit card and debit card and also you should uh, have uh, Outlook account or your GitHub account. So the reason for having a credit card and debit card is like uh, just for identification uh, verification, identifying your uh, like identity. Uh, so uh, once you enter your card details, like Microsoft will deduct uh, two rupees from your, I mean two rupees to INR from your account. Uh, that is just for uh, validating your uh, identity uh, so don't need to worry about it until unless you upgrade your uh, subscription to pay as you go uh, microsoft will not charge anything to your card so uh, in order to create a new account uh, in your email id get created so let's create one and then uh, proceed with the further steps since we are st starting a new learning cloud so it's expired outlook Click next, enter your password. Next, enter your details, date of birth, January 2001. Click next, and here uh, it will ask like uh, to confirm whether you are not a robot. So, for that, it gives some uh, puzzle to solve it. Click next. So you just need to rotate this image in the correct way up. Yeah. Now it's verified. Now it will redirect to a free trial account creation page where it will ask for a few more details about your name, organization, mobile number. So we'll just update all the details over here. And click this checkbox and click next. Next is identity verification by phone. So uh, 
Microsoft, like there are two options to identity verification by phone. Uh, either you can send a text message to your mobile and enter the OTP over here, or you can uh, uh, select call me, you will get a call to your mobile and you will get the OTP number from there and you can enter it over here. So I will go with the text message one. So I'm waiting for Microsoft to send a text. Yeah, I got the message. Now enter your OTP over here. Verification code over here. Verify it. Once this verification is done, the next verification is by card. So here you need to enter your debit card or credit card details. Uh, what you can do is like uh, uh, you have to enter your uh, card holder name, card number, uh, your expiry date, your CVV and then uh, the personal details about your address, uh, postal code, uh, state and city. Once you have done that and click sign up, this it will redirect to your banking page uh, which will ask for a OTP that you will get it your uh, registered mobile number in your bank account. And once you enter that OTP key, OTP, uh, Microsoft will deduct two rupees from your account. Uh, don't worry, Microsoft will not uh, deduct any other amount apart from that two rupees. So once you filled these details and your uh, our card is validated, you will redirect back to uh, the same page again. And then once you click the sign up, that's it. Your account got created. Since I have already created a free trial account, uh, I will go ahead and log in to that account. Okay, and we'll show you uh, what are all things you can do in Azure portal. Log into portal.azure.com. So this is the URL uh, generally you will use to log into your uh, Azure account. So uh, since I had uh, logged in using the new email account which I got created, uh, let me just sign in with a different account. Uh, the account which I created. Uh, for this free trial so sign out and sign in with a different account yeah, it should ask for a password yeah, once you enter your password your account is all set like you will be able to see the single portal where you can do anything earlier in on-prem you have to do each and everything uh, in a different console or different uh, hardware like here everything comes in handy Microsoft provides you uh, option to create and manage all type of resources so here I just created one VM like if you want to know about your subscription details go to subscription see here you have got a notification about 14,196 credit remaining because I had created few VM on virtual machine and it had cost me around 208 rupees so this is the details you will get to know and uh, you can explore resources like uh, click the left hand side uh, option and select all services so you will get to know like what are all services which are available in Azure and uh, there are like different categories compute uh, you'll get to know like what are the compute services network you'll get to know like which one network base and host private link traffic manager whichever comes under network category you will get to know all the things over here and uh, in the code portal itself like for example uh, if you're going for a compute and uh, you will see uh, at the bottom like uh, there are a few trainings which are provided by Microsoft in cloud learn uh, so there you will get to know like uh, uh, they will provide you like uh, uh, based on your role whether you are admin or uh, architect or you are a beginner uh, based on that they will provide you some free modules and uh, using that you can uh, get to know like about uh, each and every resource type okay. and one more uh, thing is like uh, Microsoft also provides a clear documentation for each and every service uh, you can just uh, go to docs.microsoft.com and uh, get to know about the services. Uh, if you want to be up to date about uh, the whichever the service you are looking for, the best uh, site to refer is Microsoft Document because uh, in Microsoft generally uh, uh, they update few services like each and every day or in a week. 
uh, you will uh, like for example if you are creating a virtual machine today and you see like a certain options and if you are uh, uh, a month back you are uh, again trying to create a new virtual machine you will see no new options listed over there because Microsoft keeps on uh, updating uh, new features for each services so it's better to refer Microsoft documentation site uh, for to know about like uh, uh, each and every service type for example if you want to know about your Linux virtual machines uh, you will get to know like uh, about your machines over here and if you, you Microsoft also provides you like uh, uh, how to guides like you can it will show you like how to create a virtual machine using portal partial arm template and CLI so that is the best way like it's not only a single way to create a virtual machine you can create it via uh, a UI or if you want to create using a template like if you are from a Linux background you can use Azure CLI Windows partial or ARM template which comes under JSON so that's all for today hope you like this video thanks for watching